All right, next matchup, it is going to be Boston College, Syracuse. Um, not sure if that's on the... Yeah, it is. We got it. 2 p.m. Eastern start time at the Carrier Dome in upstate New York. The Eagles of BC are the 14-point favorite. Totals 52 and a half. Boston College has successfully covered the number in their last two straight. Four and one against the number in their last five. Successful covers against the likes of Clemson, Georgia Tech, Pitt, and UNC. Some pretty impressive covers within that bunch. The Eagles have also covered the number in two out of their three road games and scored 121 points in their last four straight. Uh, Phil Yurkovic is throwing for nearly 270 yards a game, along with heaving 14 touchdown passes through seven games. His favorite target's been wide receiver Zay Flowers, who has 32 grabs for 536 yards and five scores. Flowers is averaging 17 yards a catch. Meanwhile, defensively, BC's got a dozen takeaways and 18 total sacks. Defensive back Jamin Muse has a pair of interceptions from the secondary, 20 tackles. Max Roberts has four and a half sacks on the year, 16 total tackles and a forced fumble. And linebacker Isaiah McDuffie has 60 tackles and three sacks with a pick. The Eagles have covered the number in six out of their last seven conference ball games. They've been very good against the number within the ACC. They're taking on a pretty bad Syracuse team who's on a four-game losing streak themselves. Their most recent loss was a 24-point beatdown to Wake Forest. Syracuse has also failed to cover the number in three out of those four losses. They're officially just one and three straight up at the Carrier Dome this year, one and six straight up overall for this season. They also failed to cover the number in three out of their four home games. Now, Syracuse, this is uh, something that really surprised me. Maybe fact check it. Um, but I'm pretty sure I'm right here. Uh, Syracuse is completing collectively a pitiful 49% of their passes this season. 28 sacks they've given up and nine interceptions they've thrown. 49% of their passes. That's terrible. The Orange also averages less than 180 yards a game passing. Meanwhile, the rushing side of things, Syracuse only gains 90 yards a game on the ground as well. They scored just three rushing touchdowns on the uh, on the ground in seven contests. Meanwhile, the Orange defense, not much better. They're giving up nearly 41 points a game in their last four straight. They're averaging less than two sacks a game up front. Now, Syracuse has lost five out of their last six conference matchups. And when it comes to the scoring in this one, four out of Syracuse's last five ball games got over the posted number. Three out of their last four contests at the Carrier Dome also got over the line. Meanwhile, Boston College's last two straight got over the number themselves. They're uh, officially 3-1 to the over in their last four as well. So a uh, good amount of overs uh, between these two teams. Give me the Boston College Eagles minus 14 and the over 52.5 in that contest. All right, next matchup I have for you. It is going to be Florida State hosting Pitt and... That should be on the board. No, it's not. But anyway, uh, Pitt at Florida State, 4 p.m. Eastern start time at Doak Campbell Stadium in Tallahassee. The Knolls are the two-point favorite. Totals 50 and a hook. Now, the Knolls have su 